good while ago, probably a couple of years maybe, I don't know, I go on about it every now and then, I bring out this watch, which is, I consider it to be the ladies' 6105 diver. It is, uh, I'm not wearing my glasses, hmm. 2205 Ignore the dirt, this is unrestored. If you believe it, this is this is unrestored. These are really cool. They're these beautiful, beautiful little um, high beat divers, and having them be a high beat overcomes sort of the limitations of their size. It's 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 a beautiful watch, and the, it, the crown even has the uh, sort of mock cutouts to mimic a sixty one hundred five crown. The best thing, the thing I love the most, is is this detail. Like a 6105, it has this sort of liquid curving right around the crown with this, this sort of almost collarbone right there. You see that, that beautiful flat section? You know, like everything else Seiko did, the, their casework is just immaculate, and the ergonomics are great. Anyway, but I used to say, man, if Seiko wanted to knock it out of the park, they'd recreate that case and put something in it. Well, I was reminded by more than a few people um, that, in fact, Seiko had done that. Well, sort of. Thanks to uh, Joseph Stewart down in Australia, he reminded me that the Pulsar Y154... Pulsar 154-6009... Look at this thing. Look at how hammered it is. But, look at that. I'll talk about that in a little bit. So this pulsar, this lowly pulsar, has this exquisite case, case shape. And just as this one here mimicked the 6105 crown, that is a 6309 crown. It is. It's also a 7549 crown and a 7548 crown and a 6309 crown. Oh, Pat really took this to... He really worked on this one. That crown is pretty hammered, but nice thing is, because they're 6309, they can simply be replaced. The other nice thing on this one is that the crown tube is good. I need to look for a better one of these. Uh, I believe this is the first one I've ever owned. And it's not even complete, it's what's left of one. Uh, Joseph was, uh, he, he was very nice. We've worked up some trade deal for this. Honestly, I don't know. I don't remember what it is. I'm hoping he'll tell me. But anyway, these use the Pulsar version of the 7546, which is 7548, which is 7549. It's an amazing thing, but the 7549, these beautiful high torque movements, is that you can get these things, these movements that were made specifically for their top of the line models, you could get that same model of movement complete with the trimmer, it's right there, all the way down on the Pulsar line. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same thing. But they went so far, that it, maybe it cost less to just put the, ver the trimmer on there. That means you could take one of these Pulsars after six and dial it into a few seconds a day. This one looks like it had a really, really hard life. Now, because it's a because it's a seven five four, and that means it's also a sixty three oh nine. That means it's easy to build a movement for this thing. You can drop it right in. Oh, here's your quiz. One of the things I always say when you're buying a used watch, a used Seiko, is you look through, you look at the dial. See all this pitting? That's from uh, welding. 
But we look through here, and the whole watch looks pretty awful. Um, and the loom is a little darkened, but the printing doesn't look bad. Let's see if I'm right. Look at that. It's not bad, is it? That's not bad. Uh, we're missing some text over here. Was it? Did it used to have chapter marks? No. A little bit of text down there. Actually, I really like the way it's lined out. I like this 12 marker a lot. So it is complete. It is original. That's a standard 6000 series dial ring, and it's in fine condition. I'm looking to see if there's any dial date. Man, this thing got flooded. Whew. That's not bad. That's not bad. I can clean that. I might be able to bring some of that loom back. Hmm. I'm extremely excited to try it. Put that right there. <sighs> Poor thing. Well, let's take it the rest of the way apart. So I'm going to take this, assuming I'm going to be able to, and I'm going to make this into a super pulsar, a super one Y154. Yeah, I know the case is hammered, but you know, best practices and all that. This one has been stuck for a really long time. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. Oop, came right off. Hard as plastic. Okay. Out. Yeah, it's literally as hard as plastic. I'm going to have to cut that out. Interesting, because I've never seen one of these rotating rings before. I've never owned one of these things. Ah, is that a difference? Is there supposed to be a snap ring on it? Or is this a, or does this use uh, an L, a nylon gasket? I don't know, let's find out. Okay, well, <clears throat> I got the movement apart. I'm sorry, movement. Case is all apart. It's definitely, uh, it's a, it's an L, it's a, darn it, here it is. It's definitely one of the standard black um, nylon crystal gaskets. Seiko used them forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. They still use them. They still use them all the time. They use these on SKXs and all these modern divers. So here it is. This is what I got to work with. Since this thing has Crown at 3... You know what I could do? I could put, uh, if I could dig up like a 6159 high beat movement, like that. Can you imagine making that thing a 6159? The thing is, you can do it. You can do it. If I got a 614, 6145, I could service it and it would drop right in. That'd be funny. Maybe you'll do that. Wouldn't that be neat? Talk about your super watches. Anyway. Y514, 6000, 6009. That's the one to think about. Ah, oh, this poor, poor thing. Yeah, the person was a welder. That, they took a freaking grinder to it. I wonder why the hell they did that. Um, there was actually something about this case that also reminded me of something else. Sort of. This is a case for a 6138 Baby Panda. Kind of reminded me of that. It's got sort of the short drop loop, um, lugs on it, but a little more extreme. Well, let's see what I can do whenever I get around to it. 
Thank you for watching. And if you have any, if anybody has one of these, they don't want it, let me know. Thank you very much. Check this thing out. I mean, also having, you know, this, the 754X high top, height and movement, chapter ring is metal. This was not, this was a low cost piece, but boy, I tell you, anybody who bought one of these things in the store, boy, did they get value for money. I'm looking forward to working on that dial. All right. I thought this would be fun to play with. So I cleaned everything. Crystal was gone too. That's the original gasket. It's holding everything together. So the case is now clean, which is always better than dirty. It's still pretty worn. But here's the whoops, the ring. This really took some work to get. Boy, this had a lot of impacted rust. Here is the ring, the insert. It's just a standard pattern one, except it's weirdly small it's the same diameter however and they don't they weren't sold separately and i don't yet know of another model that used that insert this insert is from one of those 5h um desert storm era um 200 meter divers they came in a pepsi and a black that insert is the, the right size that actually will drop in but I don't have a good one, and they're hard to find. That's the best one I've got. I'd have to patch it. I don't know, but the round top just kind of freaks me out. It should be flat, but not like that. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But I want to... I want to clean that top. So, first things first, I'm going to wash it. So, I'm going to very gently clean it. Um... In, in basically with just room temperature water with a tiny bit of dish soap in it and a very, very, very soft camel hair brush. And that gets, you don't do a lot. It just gets the oils off and gives you a clean surface. So let's do that. Believe it or not, that is cleaner. Now, let's, uh, let's try a little dial cleaning. Rather than sit here and make you guys Watch me in real time. Let's do this. I'm not really done. I'm not done pushing it, but honestly, it just takes a long time. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to bed, and we'll see how it looks tomorrow. That's definitely an improvement.